How do you define surgical site infections? Infections occurring within 30 days after operation. What are the characteristics? Purulent discharge, abscess formation, tenderness, uh, delayed healing. What are the common causative agents? Staphylococcus species, Streptococcus species, Pseudomonas species. What are the three types of surgical site infections? Superficial incisional, deep incisional and organ uh, surgical site infections. How to prevent surgical site infections? Optimize patient before surgery, adhering to their infection prevention practices at theater and ward, uh, give antibiotic prophylaxis, appropriate post-operational wound care, shorten hospital admission duration. What is antisepsis? Give me an example. Antisepsis is disinfection of living tissues. As an example, 70% alcohol and povidone iodine for skin preparation before lumbar puncture. Then what is disinfection? Give me an example. Disinfection is removal of microorganisms excluding spores from an instrument or from a surface. As an example, cleaning thermometer with 70% alcohol. Okay, what is sterilization? Sterilization is complete removal of all living microorganisms including spores from an item. What is the most effective method of sterilization used in healthcare setting? Autoclaving. What do you know about autoclaving? It uses saturated dry steam generated at high pressure and temperature for sterilizing surgical equipment, uh, gown, bed linen, cotton. The cleaned items are double wrapped with porous cloth, then stored in drum until used. What are high level disinfectants? 2% glutaraldehyde, 0.5% parasitic acid. What about the susceptibility of the microbes to high level disinfectants? They kill vegetative bacteria, mycobacteria, viruses, fungi, and spores are killed and exposure time is extended. What about the other disinfectants? Intermediate level disinfectants like 70% alcohol, 1% hypochlorite kill vegetative bacteria, mycobacteria, most viruses and fungi. But can't kill spores. Low level disinfectants like cotton and ammonium compounds kill vegetative bacteria, enveloped viruses, some fungi but can't kill mycobacteria and spores.